you're going to own a horse, you need the proper facilities. Today we're going to talk with Phil Langstrad about what it takes to care for horses. Phil, what's the first thing I need to get started? Oh, you should have some shelter for the okay. horse. and a, If it's one horse, maybe an acre of land, hopefully, or, or more. And We're standing in a nice place right here. This right. is your And barn. you don't need this nice a place, but uh, if you're going to have a show horse, you'll want a stall, okay. 12 by 12, to keep it in. Uh, uh, horses tend to fade in the in the summertime if they're outside all the time in the hot sun, and, right. and this way you can keep them uh, corralled and it's easy to work with them. So a stall is nice. And we have a stall, and then they have a run out there too right. as well. Exercise is very important for okay. a horse, and uh, if you do have the ability to put a run off the stall, that allows the horse to get some exercise when you're not there to exercise it yourself. Are there any zoning considerations when you own a horse? Uh, definitely, and of course, if you're in the city limits of any town, in Iowa anyway, you should check the zoning out right. because uh, most towns today will not let you have those types of animals in the city limits. Okay. And then as far as general equipment, water, feeders, tell mm -hmm. me about that. Well, if you have a stall, uh, most stalls come equipped with a, a feeder to feed grain in and also to feed hay in. Okay. Some people prefer to just feed their hay in a clean area on the ground because horses are grazing animals and, and it's okay. very natural for them to have their nose on the ground grazing. Right. And waters, are there different types? Uh, there's automatic waters and, okay. of course, then there's hand waters out of a bucket and everybody has a preference. Uh, some people like to, to use the, the hand watering system so they know what their horse is drinking. I prefer the automatics. Uh, it's easier, and uh, yeah. I know every every morning I come out when it's 10 below zero, there's no ice in the yeah. water. Yeah. How about tack? How do you take care of that? Uh, it's very important to take good care of tack. Tack is very expensive and an integral part of the cost of, of enjoying your horse. Right. You should keep it in a dry area, preferably where it's protected from a lot of dust, and, and uh, in the summertime where the humidity isn't too bad to keep the mold from, from building on the leather. Okay. And let's talk a little about feed. Mm -hmm. I know hay is very important with uh, when you're owning a horse and feeding a horse. Can you tell me what we've got here? Yes. We have uh, alfalfa hay and we have grass hay. Okay. Uh, I prefer feeding about a 50% blend. Mixture. So I, so I do that uh, by feeding a slice of grass and a slice of, of alfalfa. Alfalfa is higher in protein. One, so a slice of each a day. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference in the age of the horse or the type of horse? As yes. Far as the, Some horses, uh, we, we use the term easy keepers, don't require right. as much. Others require more. So as you feed your horse, you will learn to know how much it takes to really keep the horse in, in good flesh but not become too right. heavy. And the quality of hay is very important. Yes. Uh, how, how do you know what, what quality it is? Well, if, you buy, if you're buying your hay, you need to... Open these bales up and make sure okay. there's no mold, number one. Right. Uh, mold is not good for horses. Uh, number two, you need to check and make sure that that there's no weeds inside right. the hay. All right. Uh, horses uh, don't so do well So you just open weeds. a couple bales and look at it. Right. How about fencing? That's a big part of owning a horse. Can yes, you, it is, and it's a very, very important part as far as uh, safety. So let's okay. go outside and look at uh, my right. fence, and we'll talk about Great. that. Well, Betsy, here's an example of a, of a proper horse fence. All Notice right. the top is a vinyl so they can't hurt themselves. Yeah. And then the wires are fairly evenly uh, placed apart. They're smooth. If right. a horse does get its hoof or its head between it, they're going to be able to get free. What I do on this fence is put a hot wire so that they don't aren't right. tempted to reach through the fence. Okay, and there's no uh, barbed wire. Right. And that's bad news for horses. In a confined area, that's bad news. I know some ranchers get by with it in a big open pasture type setting, but uh, it's best to stay away from okay. barbs. And uh, I know a lot of horse fence, you actually have wooden rails. What are the pr pluses uh, and minuses? Uh, to that? Wooden rails are great. It's more expensive. This is a more economical fence, okay. but I have some wooden rails. Uh, a little more maintenance when they kick the boards off and so forth, but if you put wood up, make sure it's oak because horses tend not to chew on oak. Okay, because they will chew on some of They the will wood. chew on certain kinds of wood. Okay. Vinyl is excellent. Uh, you've seen the beautiful white vinyl fences. Right, and right. And you'll notice on my property on the east uh, west side of the church, there's a vinyl fence. Okay. But it's also very expensive. Right. And it doesn't, uh, I see it doesn't go down all that, all the way to the grounds. Uh, if you right. had sheep or something, maybe you'd have to do that, but not with That's horses. That's correct. If you have other types of livestock, uh, your chickens would go under it, sheep would go right. under it. 
Right. And there's certainly pigs, but uh, horses won't crawl under that. Well, thank you for those tips, Phil. You're welcome. Now we're going to have some more from Living the Country Life. Looking for the latest gadgets and gear? Check out these cool country tools. Slip into something more comfortable and more durable. Rosie's coveralls protect your clothing while you are gardening, cleaning, or getting ready to show. Available in a wide variety of patterns and colors, they include a pair of knee pads and a color-coordinated bandana. 100% cotton and machine washable, Rosie's coveralls come in full length and capri style. Make the most of your ATV with the Terrain Tough line of attachments. This heavy-duty dump cart can transport up to 1,700 pounds of soil, manure, firewood, or fencing supplies and has an 18-gauge removable tailgate. Also available in the Terrain Tough line, a cultivator, tillage desk, chain harrow, and drawbars, sprayers, and spreaders. Performance you can count on from the Bush Hog Trail Hand Utility Vehicle. Tough and versatile, load it up. The trail hand has a payload capacity of 1,500 pounds. Hook it up. You can also pull up to 1,500 pounds. Seats three comfortably and is available with four-wheel drive. Made Dodge Tough, this new series of power tools from B3 are inspired by Chrysler's Dodge Hemi brand. Chrysler and B3 are proud to introduce an 18-volt reciprocating saw, circular saw, jigsaw, impact drill, flashlight, and a 1 and 2 battery charger. To get your cool country tools, log on to livingthecountrylife.com.